we're going to look at three different crimp styles. We're going to look at a hand crimp, which is manual, a semi-automatic crimp, and a fully automated crimp. Again, know what you're buying. Quality, quality, quality. Sometimes you don't know what's underneath the connector housing, and that's where it's most important, that nerve ending. Let me give you an example. For, we have a terminal here, and this terminal and wire gauge are not mated correctly. And you can see it's too big for this terminal. But there have been people who have put this wire onto that terminal. Maybe they solder it because they don't know they can acquire a terminal to fit the correct wire gauge. On this particular wire lead, it fits really well. It was actually designed for this terminal and it could be hand crimped along with the weather seal. Extremely important, again, these are all fitted for this particular type of terminal. So make sure you know who you're buying from. And in this case, we can use a manual B crimper. I call it a B because it looks like a B after it's been formed. And I could go right at this, and I could go ahead and I could crimp ourselves that conductor wing, get it down into place there. And then I could come right back at it, and I could also do the seal. So I'll do that, a quick crimp on the seal. I have to squeeze it a little bit on the sides so I can make it fit. And then I'll give that a nice little squeeze. Okay, let that go. I'm also going to use a smaller die set in this so I can get a better crimp. So I'm going to do that. Again, look at the force I need to apply in order to make that happen. And in this case, that would be the terminal crimp. Now this is manual and obviously a tug test is everything to this. But let's take a look now at a semi-auto and then fully automatic operation. So Brian's going to be doing a semi-automatic operation for us. Semi-automatic because the seals need to be installed manually, but the terminal crimp, as you can see, is semi-automatic. We do have a foot pedal to keep the dies moving. And the other thing that's important to remember here is there's no crimp force monitor at this station. Uh, on the fully automatic side, we will be doing crimp force monitoring. In these cases, we have to do all of it off the bench. And as you can see, perfect factory crimp every time. We moved over to the fully automatic operation, and Brian's going to give us a hand. He has the machine in setup mode, so it's going to move a little bit slowly, and this is really the best way to capture the features or the actions. So, Brian, if you could go ahead and run us in semi-auto, give us a chance to get things set up. The big thing during this process is the measurement of the cutting dies. We want to make sure we don't nick any of the copper strands. And this is where uh, Brian does a lot of tweaking and we'll do a lot of measuring at this stage to make sure that we don't have any imperfections in the wire. Once the wire is cut, it's going to also cut back for a slug. It's going to move over to the seal applicator, which isn't working right now because we have it in setup mode. We're going to have to lower the hood in order for it to go fully auto. But then it'll swing over to the terminal side and then it will be crimped. So we're going to get you back into full auto mode. Uh, full auto mode. Uh, just give us a minute so we can lower the hood and get the safety features built back in again. I'm going to do 10 cut, seal, and crimp wire leads for you. Again, it's all about the quality. Right now we have wire feeding through a straightener because obviously if it's straight, the easier it's going to be for the seal to be in place and for it to cut. So Brian's going to go ahead and start the machine. We're going to go through 10 cycles and give you an idea of the operation. As you can see, as it cuts, strips, and crimps, and seals, it's going to put the uh, wire lead into a tray, which will then get fed to the opposite side for installation. Uh, it's also going to be able to do uh, a crimp force monitor once we get to the other side. So in closing, utilizing design and 3D rendering, applying ISO 9001 standards to our wire, connector, terminal selection, Improving the crimp quality and adhering to OEM specifications has increased our productivity. By addressing all these conditions up front and building quality into the process and doing things right the first time, rejects and rework are reduced and productivity is greatly increased in almost all cases. The return on investment for good quality is very short and the dividends pay out immediately.
So give it a try. Thank you very much and have a safe day.